Hey golfers, Drew Mahole back here with Second Swing Golf. Uh, we're outside today at the University of Minnesota Golf Course. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. That's awesome because we're outside and we're going to be able to hit shots off of grass instead of a, a kind of a turf uh, mat. Yep. That we've been doing a lot for those track man tests. Um, we got Titleist TS2 Hybrid, Titleist TS3 Hybrid. Uh, we got both club head options here. Uh, Thomas has, has hit a variety of different shots, um, approach shots onto the green. He's hit a bunch on the range. Um, so we're going to get his thoughts on uh, how they compare. Uh, first of all, you know, there are two different club head shapes. Uh, how did you think that they compare to each other just in terms of appearance? Yeah, so the TS3 looks a little bit more like an iron appearance, uh, maybe more like kind of like a, a drive and iron. Uh, so those players that don't like the look of a big fairy wood, you know, this may be kind of one may favor this. The TS2 looks a little bit more like a fairy wood. Um, that's kind of a little bit different. It may present a little bit more confidence being a little larger club head. Yeah, and based on the, the different you know, shapes that you presented there, um, I would imagine there were some differences in trajectory and maybe workability as well. Yeah, so one thing I did notice for sure, the TS3 did fly a little bit lower, TS2 flow a little bit higher. However, what I noticed was the forgiveness was a little bit better with the TS2 than it was with the TS3. All kind of pros and cons between the both those two clubs as well. Mm -hmm. um, the TS3 did spin a little bit less, so it went a little bit better. So right. The one thing I kind of noticed with it flying a little bit lower, going a little bit further, was more kind of like a, you know, like a driving iron lower flight to chase out. This club here was designed the TS2 kind of fly a little bit higher, kind of come out of the sky and then kind of land a little bit sure. steeper on the green. So that's kind of the difference between those two clubs. Absolutely. And then I know Tylus constructed these kind of based on, you know, the TS drivers and Ferry Woods. They implemented something called the Tylus Speed Chassis, which is basically, you know. A bunch of different technologies that were used in both the drivers and fairway woods kind of into uh, the hybrids how did you think that these felt and played compared to you know the times that you hit the titleist ts driver or ts fairway wood you know we got the chance to hit them from the fairway and on, on the tee and on the range here today for me the biggest takeaway was distance i was hitting at about 240 245 which is kind of you know around about a hybrid distance for me so i wasn't losing distance wasn't going crazy far either. These clubs are designed to go a certain distance. We were hitting a 19 degree. If I wanted to hit it further, I could probably put it down to 17 degree or play a 17 degree club. As if compared to like the TS2, TS3, you know, I've played the TS2 driver this year, a little, little bit earlier on. Um, you know, pretty, pretty similar, honestly. They, they felt about, about the same off the club face. Felt solid. Didn't feel like it was soft or anything like that. It just felt really solid off the face. And how would you recommend, you know, obviously you fit hundreds of golfers every year. Um, what type of player would you fit into a TS2 and a TS3 hybrid? I think it really comes down to the, what the player wants out of the club. The player you know, needs to hit the ball a little bit higher, maybe get a little more carry distance with a little more forgiveness. I might slide them slightly towards the TS2. However, if they don't like the look of a hybrid or, or a fairy wood, you know, TS3 might be a good option, still giving them forgiveness for, of a hybrid as opposed to playing a three or four iron. Right. But, you know, I'd say a lot of it comes down to what they're trying to do with the golf club. You know, club's designed to go a certain distance, so gapping is important. Um, but at the same time, they've got to like the look of the club as well. Absolutely. Well, golfers, they got some excellent insight there from Mr. Thomas Campbell uh, on the Titleist TS2 and TS3 hybrids, um, both packed with a bunch of distance, obviously, and then depending on what type of shot you're trying to hit, uh, they probably got your shot shape in here as well. So if you're interested in the TS2 or TS3, I would visit secondswing.com or walk into one of our stores and speak to a fitter. Thomas, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Drew.